have you ever been a victim of a DOS attack or a brute force attack? Probably you haven't. But are you prepared for that? DOS or denial of service attacks are the attacks that the purpose of the attacker is to bring down the system by causing a heavy traffic load. Brute force attacks on the other hand is trying every combination of password and usernames to gain access to a particular system. If you are a Laravel developer, how could you survive these attacks? So in this video I am going to show you how your Laravel web system can protect itself against these attacks. Well Laravel has this awesome feature called rate limiting. Actually the rate limiting is the process of controlling number of requests for a particular period of time and it can be applied to ports, IP addresses, routes, you name it. So it can block out malicious bots that sending so many requests that causes a lot of traffic to the system. So the system is accessible without a downtime for legitimate users. Alright, enough of the talking, let's do the coding. Okay, this is a already completed project. Now I want to add this rate limiting feature to my project. To do that, I'm going to open up web.php which I have defined all my routes. To do the rate limiting, Laravel comes with this awesome middleware called throttle. Using that middleware in our routes, we can block unwanted traffic to our web system. So I'm going to group all my routes with throttle middleware. I'm going to type route. group and inside that I need to put middleware and the name of the middleware is throttle colon then I need to define how many requests I should allow within how much time I'm gonna put 100 requests within one minute I think that's a fair number of requests within one minute okay function great I'm gonna put all my routes inside this group oops and actually that's all you have to do now I'm going to test it um, currently I don't have any bots or any script that can send requests so for the testing purpose I'm going to reduce this limit to just three because I just cannot send 100 requests within one minute manually so I'm reduce it to just three and let's test it on the server and one thing I forgot to mention is you cannot just use localhost to test this. You need a real server. Okay, I have already opened my system. Now I am going to hit three reloads. Let's see what happens. First reload works. Second reload works. And third reload also works. I am going to hit the fourth one. Let's see what happens. There we go. It simply returns too many request response. So the bot that is trying to send requests to a system won't get more than this. So no DB operations, no resources allocated. Just this is static page is generated and that's it. Therefore the system won't get exhausted and there won't be any downtimes. And there are certain cases like when you are using a load balancer or a proxy server, you just need to configure the trusted proxies in the throttle middleware. You can find that in the Laravel documentation. So I think that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor. If you like this video, press the subscribe button and I will come with more tricks like this. Have a good day.